Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products and Focus. Another day, yet another amazing crude oil volatile swing with almost a 10% increase in West Texas crude yesterday, uh, which had a bit of uh, ramifications across most other markets. There's a number of factors at play just now. One that was, that's been talked about a lot overnight has been the drop in the value of the US dollar after Fed member Dudley's basically come out again, yet another Fed member as well, has come out and said that the US dollar is too strong and is hurting, hurting our competitiveness uh, kind of globally. And that's kind of basically made uh, big changes in, uh, in bets for the future trajectory of US interest rates into the uh, into next year, into this year, sorry. And uh, December still seems to be get, uh, building up momentum for the next potential rate hike if it comes this year at all. So the US dollar has kind of really retreated against most of the majors, in, especially against the uh, the Japanese yen. And we've also seen uh, big moves with the uh, euro dollar, which we'll look at from a technical perspective. We've finally got that technical breakout outside of that um, triangle formation that we've talked about. And even the uh, GBP USDs managed to get a little bit of extra gain on the back of it. So um, that reduction in uh, the future rate uh, trajectory has also had a big impact on the equity markets as well. We've seen the US 30 manage to increase quite substantially. Germany 30, maybe not so much. UK 100 is obviously getting a bit of a bounce because of the increase in, uh, in commodity prices, uh, but it has been a very interesting um, overnight session. And uh, gold as well has had a nice, beautiful breakout. And we'll cover that when we have a look at the technical charts in just a second. So let's start off with uh, the US 30 just to kickstart the technical side. So having a look at where we are right now, you can see that we're just approaching potential resistance at 16,460. 79% of uh, CMC Marcus clients are currently uh, short. We are trading above that 21 period SMA. The other technicals are not yet overbought, indicating there could be further room for momentum if we manage to break above 16,460, with the next potential support after that of 17,095. Then moving on to the UK 100, um, you can see that, I, mean, I should point out, the U US 30 did have a 400 point rebound from its lows yesterday. We managed to come off quite far from the lows. We managed to get a, a tetchy little uh, increase right there. A little bit further bullish momentum this morning, but nothing that, that spectacular. The difference being is that we're in the middle of two ranges with the UK 100, uh, with uh, 6,070 being the potential resistance and 57,68 being the potential support. Still in the middle of this sloping downwards trend, 59% um, of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. The other technicals are relatively neutral, though the MACD histogram is declining, indicating there could be a bearish crossover on the MACD at some point, and this is actually the ultimate oscillator. So moving on to Japan 225, you had the Bank of Japan Governor Kuroda come out yesterday again, similar to what Mario Draghi had said, uh, to say that they will do whatever it takes to support uh, their monetary policy to, for them to hit their inflation targets. Um, the Japan 225 is off the session lows because you were they were concerned that you were going to get a stronger Japanese yen. Uh, actually, dollar yen really sold off aggressively yesterday. As it's a dollar that was the the net loser out of all the uh, central banker talks yesterday. We'll come back to that in a second. We're trading below both moving averages. 16.896 is the potential support. The other technical is relatively neutral. MACD histogram slowly declining which could have a bit of an impact later on. So actually Japan 225 not looking uh, too tasty right now at all. Then have a look at dollar yen. You can just see the size of this move as the, uh, the Japanese yen, uh, well it's actually the US dollar lost a lot of strength. Uh, we're trading below both moving averages. We've almost got a bearish cross in slow stochastic. Didn't quite break above 80%. The MACD histogram sold off very close to getting that negative cross in the MACD. 71% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. 116 spot 7 is the next potential support, with 118 spot 60 being the potential resistance. Let's have a look at West Texas crude. Uh, we're coming up quite close to that potential support level right there. Uh, let me make this a little bit easier for us to see. We'll make that uh, green. Uh, pretty much bang on the level. 60% of CMC clients are currently uh, short. This is a 10% increase in West Texas crude, almost in the back of nothing. We had crude oil inventories um, yesterday, one of the highest in record since 1930. And even that wasn't enough to keep uh, crude oil low. Um, now, obviously you have the US dollar uh, retreating, uh, but not a 10% decrease in the value of the US dollar or anything ridiculous like that. So um, the macro data as well coming out is nothing special. Um, so crude oil is such a tough one to trade right now because one minute is up 10%, next minute is down 10%. Uh, just make sure if you are trading it that you have the relevant stop losses in place. So you can make or lose a lot of money on this bad boy. 
So moving on to uh, on to gold. Gold's a really interesting one to look at just now. Obviously, interest rates and a weaker US dollar is uh, building up the fundamentals behind it. We punched through 11.31 yesterday. Next potential resistance is all the way at 11.91. So we're quite a good bit away from there just now. If we do get a retracement, you could be looking at 11.31 as a potential springboard. If this is a broken resistance now acting as support, Failing that, if it breaks back down, you would be looking at 11, 11, all the way back down here. 66% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short, indicating that maybe they believe this uh, rally is uh, overextended. The technical certainly show it is extended. The RSI is overbought, the slow stochastics overbought, uh, though the MACD histogram is only increasing, but then the trend is higher. So let's finish up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. That's a beautiful technical breakout right there, smashing really far out of this level, getting out of that consolidatory area. It's uh, very, very beautiful to see. Let's see if the next potential resistance could be. I think you might have taken this point here that's broken out, maybe this point. I think we're gonna stick with this and see see what comes out, see if that's gonna be more, more relevant because it does seem to be in play at the moment. So we pretty much closed on that level yesterday. We had a failure to break through again today. One spot 11.05 uh, could be uh, an interesting strategic point on uh, euro dollar. We'll have to see how that transpires in the next couple of days, but a very strong technical breakout. It must have hit a lot of um, tape, uh, stops on the, on the way up, uh, and it certainly had some great momentum. Fantastic move there. 85% of CMC Markets clients are currently short, so they're obviously hoping that there's gonna be a retracement back down towards either these points or down here towards one spot zero eight. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and have a quick look at GBPUSD to finish things off, uh, where the sterling also managed to, uh, to get some decent momentum. Again, it's mainly the US dollar that we're treated across the board. Decent sized candle, smashed through one spot 45.65. Uh, it's retraced back down to there again today. This is probably an interesting springboard level. If you're a bull on cable, a lot of people might look at this area as an interesting buy-in point to target a level higher. Failing that, if you're bearish on, on this product, and to be fair, you're, you're quite far away from any major uh, major levels. Mm, yeah, you're probably going to take this one. Maybe here. I think we'll take. Maybe maybe we'll just take this for now, just to be just to be safe. It's a little bit closer. One spot forty eight oh five could be the next potential resistance, and that also kind of roughly coincides with that fifty five period SMA, where fifty seven percent of CMC market clients currently are short. So economic data wise. We don't have a huge amount out today. Let me just have a quick look at the market calendar. Uh, and uh, we do have unemployment claims and factory orders in the US. But to be fair, it's all about non-farm payrolls and the employment data due tomorrow. So make sure you guys don't miss out on that one as well. Well, thank you very much for listening, guys. Very good luck with your trading. And um, join me again on Monday to find out what happened next as I'm not in the office tomorrow. So very good luck and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.